want the truth? Well, here's the wicked truth. What's happening there? We back on the wicked truth. You want to know the truth? Well, here's the wicked truth. I got my homie with me today, man. We go way back. Uh, straight from the deck. When we talk about straight from the deck, this is really the deck right here. And his name is Dexter the Deck Tucker. Deck, what's happening, man? What's up with it, Wick? Hey, man, I'm sorry. Look, we ain't gonna start no mess today, right? Hey, man. Uh, I, I, I told you on the phone when you come down here, don't start nothing. no mess today now. <laughs> hey, man. It's sad. <laughs> for, all, for all y'all out there that don't know, um, you, have a, you have a famous brother. Uh, you know, you're famous yourself, but you have a famous brother, uh, and that's Chris Tucker. All right. Okay. Um, then how many of y'all is it, uh, brothers and sisters? Uh, my mom and dad has six kids, so I got uh, three brothers and two sisters. Three brothers and two sisters. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I wanted to uh, dive kind of into, you know what I'm saying? We'll get back into, you know what I'm saying, the family ties a little bit later, you and you and your brother and different things. But I want to get into some of, you, you know, uh, your movies and some of the stuff that you have done and that you have coming out, you know, in the future. Uh, there was a movie called Jimmy. Right. right. Uh, I think uh, Jerry May shot that yeah, movie. Jerry May was my partner, yeah. We oh. produced it together. Mm-hmm. And, um... That's how they worked out. I, I met Jerry after we shot the Comedy Club movie, and uh, he was involved in the editing process. And uh, he and I started working together. And um, <clears throat> one thing happened with the Comedy Club movie. When I went out to shop it, I had a hard time selling it. I didn't know what I was doing anyway, but I had a hard time selling it because he kept asking me what stars I had in the movie. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have any big stars. We had a lot of up-and-coming comedians and stuff. So um, we eventually got a, a deal with it. But Jerry came to me with an idea of a horror film, and I was like, you know what, you got something there because ain't nobody never gonna ask you who to star in the horror film. Gotcha. So we went ahead on and shot that together, and um, and um, when we finished it, we uh, put it in a film festival and ended up winning first, pri first prize in, a, um, in the horror film division. Mm -hmm. And um, shoot, we about to shoot part two. So part two yeah, of it. We got the distribution deal. Distribution companies call us for winning that prize. Instead okay. of me going around the world trying to shop it, they came to me. So it actually was the smartest thing we ever could have done at the time. Right, and that, and that movie came out when, part one? Uh, I think 2015 or 2016, 20, 20, something like that. 2015? Three, four, five years ago. Okay, and you mentioned um, a movie, The Comedy Club, that y'all shot. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was talking not too long ago to uh, Young Jack Thriller, yeah, AKA Honey Bun, Honey Bun, which was, which he was in that movie. Yeah, he started. Um, tell the people, uh, give the people a rundown of the different comedians that you had in there. And I want to ask you a few questions about that particular movie and why it did it never happened. The whole idea of that movie was, um, I was doing comedy, stand up comedy, just started out, and um, I was around a lot of comedians, and we didn't have the outlet that we used to have with Def Comedy Jam and and. Um, comic view and stuff like that. So I was mm -hmm. like, let's make a movie and it give everybody some shine. So that's how I pitched it to the comedians and that's how I was able to get all those comedians to come out and work for nothing. And um, Work for nothing? I, mean, <laughs> yeah, I didn't have no money to get <laughs> But they just wanted the exposure. Okay. You know, we do comedy for nothing a lot of times when we first starting out. So um, Honey Buns, um, Daryl Dam, Food Stamp, uh, shoot, who else? Uh, Double D. Yeah, Double D, uh, Carlos Miller, Sherman Golden, Doo Doo Brown, uh, Dirty South, wow. Vanessa Fraction, uh, Damn Fool. Um, Don't forget Chris Tiny, Style. Chris Style. Uh, what's my girl name that was on Love and Hip Hop? Uh, uh, Shea Bucket. Shea Bucket, yeah. 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 And, man, so it was, it was star studded, star packed. Came out good. Very funny movie, man. Very funny movie. What what, what, what happened, Dick? Why? Because when I was speaking, I was on a uh, B High show uh, with with Young Jack Thriller, and that was one of the things that he was asking me. He, I, well, well, he was like, you know, when I asked him what happened with the movie, he didn't know. So for for you know for people out there that's you know want to know what happened to you got all these celebrities, all yeah. these comedians, and it's called a comedy yeah. club. Why did it never come out? It's, that's one of those things where when you when you make it, people don't know what you've been through. Right. That was one of them things. I worked hard on that thing for a year, but I had too many partners. I had it was four partners, uh -huh. and and everybody they I mean some of them quit halfway through. 
I'm the only one that stayed there the whole time and finished it. Gotcha. And then when we finished it and um, I finally got a, a situation for it, one of the partners didn't want to do it. He thought he could find a better deal. But it wasn't about the deal with me. It was about getting it out there, moving on to something else, being respected as a filmmaker and going and doing be bigger and better things. Gotcha. But he sent a cease and desist to the distribution company and they were pissed and they had to take it off. It was on Amazon Prime. The movie, the same deal I had with that one I got with Jimmy. Okay. And Jimmy is in Target stores right now. Wow. So that movie could be out there, but one sucker, he, he, he ruined it, everything. So uh, I don't fool with him no more. I don't fool with a lot of partners no more. <laughs> no, only no. Jerry May is my only partner. I can't deal with a whole lot of people. You know, it's just too much. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, you know, as I'm looking at your, um, at your resume, a lot of people didn't know that you were in Money Talks with your older brother, with your younger brother. Because yeah, yeah. Chris is your younger brother, Chris, right? Baby brother, yeah. That's your baby brother. Yeah, okay, so so now, uh, out, out of the brothers, what's the, are you the oldest? What? Nah, nah, Chris is the youngest, and okay. me. Then my brother Norris, my sister Lucretia, my sister Tammy, and my older brother Daryl. Gotcha, okay, okay. Now, uh, you were in Money Talk, um, uh, you know, what was that like being on the set, you know, with your, with, with, with your brother? And even though the role, your role wasn't huge, just being there for the support, seeing him, you know what I'm saying, yeah. maturating in his career and stuff, what yeah. was that like? Take that was that. huge. That was his first um, big movie after Friday. Okay. And, and they, made him a, they made him executive producer. And um, so he had, he, had some, he had some pull on that one. He had got an agent, and the agent knew how to really cut them deals. So um, me and my brother Norris went out there and I hang out with him on set. And um, uh, what was that director name? The same guy that did um, the same guy that did um, the Rush Hours. Uh, forget the white boy name. But anyway, he, he he decided to throw us in a scene, and we actually had lines. But my brother Norris was so nervous that it didn't come out right. You know, I'm, I'm talking cracking jokes and stuff, and he over there all nervous because he that's not what he does. <laughs> right. So they ended up, you know, you never know when you shoot a movie if you're going to even make the final cut. Right. So they end up cutting it up, and you can just see our face, but you got, we got paid for speaking roles. Oh, gotcha. So the checks was nice for a minute. You know, gotcha. it was coming, coming for years. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, now, uh, okay, so y'all, y'all, y'all do rush hour, um, even though, you know what I'm saying, like you said, they cut out uh, your particular, you know what I'm saying, speaking lines. Was there ever any talks with you and your brother, uh, since y'all are so, so talented, I want to get into your father, too, that has passed. He's a very, very, very talented man, yeah, too. Uh, did y'all ever talk about doing something as just the Tuckers? You know what I'm saying? With, with your pops before he passed, you, Chris. Because y'all are hilarious, and I've always wondered, like, why don't they do something, you know, kind of together? Well, I think, uh, like, everybody in my family is funny, like, naturally funny. But it's a difference, like, we call it cookout funny. Okay. You know, you funny at the cookout, but if somebody put a camera on you, you freeze up or whatever. So <laughs> they not my, like my dad and I. They weren't really actors. Like I was saying, my brother Nars, they're not really actors. Like okay. me and Chris, the only ones to do stuff like that. But but nah, we haven't done anything yet. But it's never too late. It's you never know, too we late. We still can definitely do something. Right. When when uh when when you know how's the relationship uh between y'all as community? Do y'all support each other as brothers? A lot of people, you know, they want to know that. I see y'all. You know, me personally, I see y'all all the time together, especially when. He, He's in town, mm -hmm. but to to the average person out there that that, that you know doesn't follow either one of y'all, you know, are y'all are y'all close? Yeah, we close. I mean, we close like brothers, but we I don't really mix my business with his too much okay. because like I, I don't I, I learned not to I can't wait on people to do something. Or, uh, it, it's better to go and do my own thing. So if an opportunity presents itself, I definitely do something with him. But we hadn't done anything together. Um, I. I did a couple of comedy shows with him, okay. which were a couple of the biggest shows that I I have been on. Um, we did a couple of casinos. Okay. And um, so yeah, we did we we done a little comedy together, but so far no no acting together. But hey, that's something we still can do. You so know? absolutely, that would yeah. that would be great. Uh, Dexter, um, I want to ask you, um, what 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 do you enjoy more, the stand up uh, comedy or movies? I enjoy the movies more, um, and, and actually, a lot of people might not uh, know this, but less, less people that, that are close to me, but I started doing stand-up comedy to get to the movies. Gotcha. I figured that was the quickest way for me to get to it. I like acting, and I like creating movies and, and, and producing movies myself, because I always felt like 
um, the movies that we have to choose from is very small. You know, we, we're forced to watch what they give us, and we're watching white people most of the time. Mm -hmm. We're watching white people TV shows, we're watching white people movies. The best movies are, are white people movies. Mm -hmm. and, but that's because we don't have a lot to choose from, so I always wanted to make my own stuff, and, um, and that's what I'm doing now, you know. And it's a process, getting, getting better and better at it. My first couple of movies were low budget. My next ones, are, uh, we have more money now, mm -hmm. you know, so, and we, we, we learned a lot just by doing it with nothing. And when you do it with nothing, minimal resources, then when you got money, it's just, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Right. We, yeah, we did it with some sticks and some rope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now, now we got a little money. And then you're paying people, they show up on time. <laughs> well, I, I, I see how that works. When you're not paying people, like, we, man, we can shoot all day and then say, all right, we're going we're gonna to get back at it at 8 in the morning. Next morning, they got a thousand excuses. Right. Like like you, I remember you. <laughs> I, I can't find no babies. This still. ain't about I ain't got me. No ride. This ain't about me, Dick. <laughs> this is about you. That's <laughs> <laughs> ironic. That you get. Yeah, hey, when you paying people, you can get stuff done. I, I I I definitely agree with you that. Um, I want to get on to something a little bit more serious. Uh, that was a that was a while back. I'm I'm. Man, you forget to say you were in that movie too. I was. You I, were the star. Of the movie. I was. I was in the movie, Dick. I was in the movie. I was one of the people that didn't get paid. So you're right. I was late. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Like me I, was, I only showed up because of you, Dick. I had twelve jobs. Too. I was the one with the camera. I was acting. I was writing. I was directing. I was lighting it. You were doing everything. So I was it. like, you can cry me a river, man. <laughs> you better get your head down. He'll bring your baby with you. Dick, I want to turn to something a little bit more serious. I'm, uh, I laying in my bed one morning, and and uh, this was well after the movie had been shot, and I see uh, there's been a shooting um, in DeKalb County. And, um, you know, it come across my television, and I'm not paying it really no attention at first. And then I look up. I hear a voice familiar that I know. And I look up, and it's you on the television uh, involved in a shooting. Can you kind of take us through that for the people that don't know what happened with that? Man. You want the truth? Well, here's the wicked truth. 